Okay, so if you want to make leopard or snow leopard, because that's what I'm learning, is snow leopard, and you want to make it look like tiger, because you look, you like the way the tiger looks, you'll get a similar effect. It won't be brush metal, but you'll have the the windows that look like it, and the only thing wrong is the taskbar and the dock, but the dock is easy. And applications you will need is display. Dis displatcher or displacer or whatever. I have settings like this, and then I'll enlarge it for you. But if you look at the corner, how you have these, and you can set to how many you want, so you can make it look like a TV screen. But you want to set this slider all the way down, and then uncheck the bottom ones. Because when you get it, it'll be all the way up. And because you want to round the top off. And then you'll want to exit out of this. And then there's some files on this site. It looks like this. So Android12.net. I'll put the link in the description. There is a blue link that says here they are. And when you scroll over it, it blinks. And you want to download that. And I already have them downloaded, but I'm just going to show you how to do this. You want to go to wherever you download it, and then you want to go to, it should be Leopard Look Like Tiger, and then there's two, and you want to take it and put in your home directory, but like I said, I already have them, so that's what you want to do, because I don't want to place them, so you want to open Terminal, and then you want to go type in there, and since you're already in your home directory, you want to type in look like tiger dot sh or the the shell that they gave you that they give you and I will put the that in the description and you have this and it says okay log off and log back on you max should look like tiger now so I'm gonna log off and then log back on. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like right now. Okay, so um, your Mac should look like this. And then you want to launch the Displacer app again. And this wait, sure. and applications. And whatever you last saved it to, it'll be like that. And then you want to take a picture of your thing and then have a screenshot because you're going to need photoshop or some editing program like this and then if you look here on your apple logo you have a bit different and if you look at your your windows you'll see that it's kind of different. It kind of looks like the brush metal, but it doesn't have the, the, the actual effect. But your edges are rounded -er, and it's not as squared off. And some stuff actually has the lines that you'll find in Tiger. Like if you look at the back, oops, you see they have the lines there. outline corners you want to do square corners I already have these set but since they changed it and then translucent icon translucent icons you want to turn off and you want to make sure your dock style is on 2d your separator style straight line thin 
and then color white. You want to make your indicator style an arrow and black 3 dot style you want to keep your settings. You want to click to apply and then you'll put in your password. And then it'll change your finder. Now, what you want to do is you want to go into your system preferences, desktop and screensaver. You want to go to abstract or find your find the tiger screensaver or wallpaper, which should be under desktop pictures, and this should be the first one. And then you want to take a screenshot. Again, have Photoshop open and open that picture that you just took. And then you want to delete the whole background, but leave the taskbar up. And then you want to turn the taskbar white. Just paint it white. And do not, I repeat, do not do the white on the the um what you would call it the spotlight because there's something that you can do with it. You want to turn it blue. To make it look like tiger. Let's see, you got the lines here too. Just pointing that out. And then you want to turn your brush blue and just make a dot over the the thing. The what you gonna call it? And then take your selection brush or your selection. And then fill it in with white as a new layer. Just so it comes out. And then what you want to do is you want to take your tiger background or whatever background and then set it as your background. On here, you'll paste it in here. Don't worry about the rounded corners in here. So I'm going to find the tiger background. And I'm going to use it as my background. Or I'm actually going to do with the fishies because I like the fishies. So I'm going to copy it. Go in here, Control V, and then spread it out underneath the taskbar or menu bar or whatever Apple calls it. I call it taskbar. And then you just want to shape it to the background. And the reason why I'm trying to do the blue on the the icon in the left after you save it as JPEG. But the reason why I'm telling you is because if you look at a tiger background, then you'll see that it has the um the center, the dot, the up blue icon, and it just brings it out to life. This is just to make it detailed. There, to make it detailed. And if you look in Safari, it even does it here. And then, thing to load, there it goes, system preferences, desktop screensaver. 
and then find it on my desktop or wherever I saved it and then if you look you got this right here and then your taskbar becomes white and then there's an there's an app that I don't know if I have it still but you can realize it won't work.